There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, Divas and Divos? It's your girl. You guys already know what time it is. This is the second time I had to do this video. Um, something unexpected came up, which was the actual wig that I'm about to review. So the hair that I have, or the wig, or the glueless full lace wig that I'm about to show you guys is from DYHair. 777.com so if you guys are not familiar with them they're all over the YouTube I have done like probably like four videos for them like in the past in 2017 2016 I have done enough videos for them I've made wigs using their hair etc etc so this time around I do have a glueless full lace wig it is a virgin Brazilian body wave it is 22 inches in length pre-plucked hairline I think it's like either 150 density or 200 I really think it's like 150 all right but for everything that I don't know and I'm not sure of I will link it in the description box below for you guys so that way you can check it out first let's begin with this when you get your unit it will come in one of their bags a little tote so you can either keep your wig in it put whatever you want in it it's up to you, but it does have like their little slogan, their logo on the front. And also inside, um, it does have like some false eyelashes, a mesh statue bag for your wig. And it's cute, it's reusable, so I'm gonna definitely keep it, okay? I went ahead and I glued the baby hairs down, um, you know, fixed them up, etc., etc. You know, because I've seen somebody else do that on the YouTube, so I was like, let me try this, okay? Let me tell you, it did not work out. For one, um, I just don't listen I didn't even have my own baby hairs glued down or gelled down so I just didn't I just kept my own natural hair pushed back and I was just going to glue or gel the baby hairs down so I did this on my mannequin head it was all slicked down so if you guys see like some little white little bit of residue or whatever that is the actual gem now mind you like I said this is the second time that I had to do this video because the first time as I was sitting there I was all prepared you know first of all I really wasn't prepared but I was I had my little backdrop up and it was just killing me it was making me look weird it was making me look you know what I'm just done and I'm over with the whole backdrop thing this is my backdrop my room is my backdrop okay Okay, bottom line I'm not even gonna figure it out I'm not bothering with it but either way so I went ahead and I put the wig on you know I was like it has a comb in the middle like I always tell you guys and it has the two combs on the side and the comb and adjustable strap in the neck let me tell y'all something okay so first of all it's a stretch middle it's a stretch panel it's a stretch middle so you can part this wherever you want because like I said it's a glueless full lace wig and I went ahead and styled it you know I used my wand curler because I just wanted to see what it could do you know what I'm saying I needed to give it a little bit more volume and fullness because it's not like a wig that I made so it's not as dense so anyway you know and I pre-tweezed the hairline all of that good stuff Anyway, so I'm putting the wig on, you know, and I'm like, oh, I don't even like how these baby hair came out. I don't like the fact that you got up. I just didn't like it. So I was like, you know, maybe if I put the, the wig on right, like put the comb down on the side, it'll lay flat. Can you please tell me why the combs, the combs, the combs that are supposed to be right here or back here. So there's three of them back here and one in the middle, like. Where is that making any sense at? So, yeah, so the comb is, the combs are all the way over here. Listen, D.Y., you're going to have to get that right because a lot of us girls do not like to be gluing and gelling down all of that extra stuff. I just didn't like that, and that is the main reason why I had to take the wig off and gel my own baby hairs down because I was just like, you know what, it's, I'm, I'm not about to be doing all that. So now here I am again, and we're going to go through this tutorial once again. As you guys know, I'm going to use some Gorilla Snot Gel, okay, because I do love it. And I'm also going to use some of my favorite Instant Freeze by Aussie, because I do love it. Um, and whatever else I need. So the first thing I'm going to do now, because I already did it, but I'm just going to take some concealer. Because I did have to tweeze a little bit of part in it, because that's just how I do things. Everybody does them their own way, and it's just how I do them. Let me just take it and I'm going to put it on the inside. And then on top of that, the sun was messing with me. Like, seriously, like, I had to close the blinds because the sun was going behind the clouds and in front of the clouds. And I'm like, you know what? I really want to get this done within a certain time frame because I have other things that I would like to do today. 
today. So now it's time to go ahead and put this on and let's see how it comes out. You know I try, but I don't do too well with apologies. I hope I don't run out of time someone call a referee. Cause I just need one more shot have forgiveness. I know you know that I made those mistakes maybe once or twice. And by once or twice, I mean maybe a couple of hundred times. So let me, oh, let me redeem or redeem on myself tonight. Cause I just need one more shot for second chance. Yeah. Is it too late now to say sorry? Is it too late now to say sorry? Okay, so let me tell y'all about this wig. Now, first of all, I don't know if it's me or maybe it's just the way that I curled it because it seemed like certain parts are longer than normal, but that could just be the way that I curled it. Either way, neither here nor there, this video kind of like threw me for a loop, okay? From the background to the lighting to the sun to Mother Nature to the actual wig combs. So when you try to put the combs in your hair, like if you try to attach them right here where they're at all the way back here it makes the wig like buckle and it just doesn't sit right and i think like they really need to reconstruct and reform and just do the combs over because a lot of us like myself i really don't like to have to put a whole bunch of gel on my wig and just do all that. I really would like to have a comb right here. So that way it don't be flapping, you know, flapping all in the wind. That's just me. That's just that's just how April feel about stuff. Um, there are other people that don't feel that way, but I do, okay? And I know like I could have just removed the combs and re them, but what if I was somebody that didn't have a needle and thread and I really wanted to put that wig on and run out the door because I had like a date or I was going out with the girls or I didn't know how to sew. So I really think like that was kind of like a disappointment to me because I really do think like the combs need to be where they need to be. And then they have the comb right here dead smack in the middle. Like nobody, I think nobody uses that comb. Like it's so like just useless. It doesn't lay right. It has your wig buckling. It just is just useless. Okay. So besides all of that the hair texture is great it's virgin hair so if you're looking to dye and bleach it then hunties go ahead you can do so you don't have to wear it like this you know it did it did not come like this it came it's a body wave um style so it basically came kind of like with a kind of like a body wave it wasn't like curled or anything but i just wanted to try something different because i just wanted to see if the hair could really like how it would look because it wasn't like the density, the volume that I like. You know, I like like a lot of hair. So in order for me to make it mine and make myself feel comfortable wearing it, I definitely have to do something to the hair. And so putting curls like this in it make the hair a lot more fuller and makes it appear fuller. So I do believe like the density is 150, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, each company they'll say their wig is 150 or it'll be like 180 in it, and then it doesn't even look that way. But I think that this is really 150 because it looks like 150. So it is a nice full wig. It is like a a believable, an average, a natural, a realistic looking um, density. Okay, if that's what you're looking for, then by all means go ahead. But you know me, like my saying is this. If you're going to wear a wig, then you might as well do it big. Like I'm not going to wear a wig that is like the same density in my own hair. I'm going to just, girl, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to put a whole bunch of hair to that. Okay, for real. But as for the hairline, like, okay, so listen, it is pre-tweezed, which is cool, but the only thing that I had the issue with is the fact that I couldn't even, like, just put it on, like, without, with the combs. I had to, like, really finagle this wig, like, me and the wig, we had to have, like, a sit down, and I was like, you know, basically, like, listen, girl, you won't have to do this for me today because I'm gonna need this for this video, you know what I'm saying? But, you know... 
so yeah I had to kind of like finagle the wig so this is like right out the box okay straight out the box it did have some baby hair it's like a nice per perimeter baby hairs but like I said I had went ahead and gelled them down onto the mannequin watching somebody on YouTube and who even knows what her takes were you know what I'm saying all we know she could have been pissed off in the video and been like it didn't work out but then you know she edited it whatever well I'm gonna tell y'all what it don't work if you are gelling the baby hairs down on a mannequin and then putting them on your own head it doesn't work like that okay just take it from me the hair isn't as silky as some hair you would think because it's a body wave so I think it's because I put like a curl in it so it made it a little bit more like it didn't change the texture but it's not all silky like you know how some hair is so silky like it doesn't it just doesn't form volume you gotta do like forever everything to just to give it some volume and texture so I think um, with this hair it's not as silky as some silky hair you know what I'm saying which is good because I don't really like them when they're too silky like I can't deal with them when they're too silky like that it is drive me crazy y'all and as you see what I'm talking about with the sun it's just like this is not my day like seriously it's just not my day seriously I'm really just trying to be really patient with mother nature out here and just say why are you doing this to me and I'm just going to get over it but like right about now I'm not I'm really about to have a hissy fit so anyway the wig um, let me tell you guys some of the things that I did notice about it besides the comb it did shed um, it was shedding so I did get some shedding um, right here I did get a little bit of shedding um, so I just want you guys to know that um, and it just was the comb and the shedding but the main focus is was the combs because like I said if I was someone that didn't have a, a needle and thread or I didn't know how to sew I would be messed up because I would have to try to figure out what I was going to do or you know whatever but for the for the most part the hair texture is lovely it worked out you know I had to finagle it or whatever but you know I don't really like to do everything like that all the time I just want to put it on and go but anyway so DY hair 777 now let me tell you I probably had did like five videos for them in all probably like six I'm not really sure but I did enough of them and so that's cool because I'm very familiar with them this is a glueless full lace wig, you know, when it's glueless, I don't want to put glue on it or gel, I just want to put it on and look cute and pop it. But overall, the experience with it was on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 7 just because I really didn't appreciate what the combs was. And you know, with me, I'll definitely go ahead and change them up, but other than that, it came out great. I like the density, the pre-plucked hairline was great, so if you're into gluing and gelling it down, babies, you can go ahead with the hairline. You probably don't even need to tweeze it um, behind that because it's very, like, natural looking. The hair looks very natural, so if you're into the natural look, then definitely check them out. And as well as that, I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy all over the place video. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up because you know I was just like so aggravated and I just couldn't get it. And like, oh my God. Because you love me as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you soon.